everybody, and welcome to another session of Phoenix Remind Trials and Tribulations of Chaos Counseling. <laughs> we need to. What was the last thing that we were doing? Oh, I think she, we were talking about. Well, you need to show our Victor Kudo stuff. After the incident. Yeah. Yeah. Because she was like, we, we need to get the rest from Victor. and Yeah, because, like, <laughs> she's insisting that everyone's stories isn't adding up. Yeah. So. Okay. That's a big repair bill. Yep. Oh, yeah, that is. <gasps> oh yeah, we were s uh, we're supposed to. I remember we're. I don't know if we should do. We that. can probably save it for last. Get all the information and then be like, by the way, here's some food. <laughs> <laughs> by the Please way, don't hurt. Hey, damn shoe. He twied. So desk would we? Eh. Eh. Lid. Open. You may hear a pop. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello? Did you? Huh, I feel much better after this trial this morning. Um... I've been a bit of a courtroom pr I've been a bit of a courtroom proceedings addict for years now. That's the sentence, goodness gracious. It feels like forever since I saw a witness as slippery as that old man. He's not really that bad of an old man, though. Tell that to yourself. <laughs> I want to at least believe in humanity. Can I have that, Nick? Still, no. Oh, I feel a bit uneasy. Huh? I thought you said you felt much better. Maggie? If there's something on your mind, you've got to tell us. Especially if it has anything to do with Mr. Kudo or his testimony. Roger! I'll spill it and spill it I spill it all and see what you make of it. Ha! Huh, words. I got this. I feel you, Maggie. I'm ready to just say everything. That's what I mean mm -hmm. to say. Is there anything about Mr. Kudo's testimony that stood out as odd to you? Actually, yes. The fact that he was even testifying to begin with doesn't quite... Doesn't quite what? Well, when I took the coffee over to the victim's table... It's true there was another customer in the restaurant. Yeah, we know that already. It was Victor Kudo. But I can't really say... It was an old man. Okay, then how about calling him a really old middle-aged man? Uh, no, age isn't the issue. The other customer was... A woman. A woman? Are you sure, Maggie? Well, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think so. So, what did this woman look like? Um, she was sort of creepy. And she had kind of a crack cackling laugh. A witch? Creepy? <laughs> cackling? Why do I get the feeling I've come across a woman like that recently? Hmm. Oh, I almost called her bride again. Son of a gun. <laughs> she be a bride someday. Why does this happen? Oh, Jeez. <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah, I've got something you're going to love. Really? What is it? A lunchbox, just for you. Here. <gasps> wow, a lunchbox! Wheaties, too! <laughs> I love Wheaties! <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you, sir. Did you make this just for me, Mr. Wright? <laughs> I didn't steal any of the food, mister. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was the gum Gumshoe. Who else would make you such a nice lunchbox for you? He wants her to eat his weenies. <laughs> yeah, <but ow. laughs> Detective Gumshoe? He's really worried about you. Looks like he put a lot of effort into making this, too. I can't accept it. Detention center rules. No gifts allowed, sir. Hey, come on, Maggie. Don't be like that. The rules are rules. They'll lock you up if you break them. You're already locked up. 
Somehow when an ex-cop from Ra Waitress says that, it seems a whole lot scarier. And anyway, I hate Waitress! Oh, really? <laughs> it's all yours, Maya! You can enjoy it with Mr. Wright! Perfect! <laughs> I mean, but... She's right. It's better than letting it go to waste. But... Guess so. Come choose the lunchbox eaten with Maya. How well? <laughs> As Maya immediately digs right into the weeds. Well, like, how... like, she did give me permission, Nick! How was it? That hit the spot. I love weenies. Turns to look at the office camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good! I'm glad I gave it to you then, sir. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Scott. He's done. January 7, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. The main server just went up into smoke! Why the heck is the press conference set up yet? The superintendent's here already! Yes, and there's a problem with the internet too. I already told you to stop using your computer, Jeep! But I'm watching videos online. I'm catching up on my Asian soap operas. Oh, so that's what we're calling it these days. <laughs> I was gonna say, you watch Korean dramas? I'd watch. Uh, can I join you? Can I join, <laughs> please? It's gonna have to wait, Chief. I'm throwing the switch. No! Just when Shum Jung Kang was about to confess his such hot, hot, hot girlfriend. Yep, Korean drama. Wow, this place is really buzzing. Something must be going down. Something really big. Huh? What are you doing here, pal? Detective Gumshoe! You can't be here right now. You'll be roped into the briefing if you stay. Huh? We've got big problems here today. Why? I'm not still using the lunchbox. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What's going on? It's a virus! A virus! A virus? There's a virus ripping through the precinct's computer system. I really need to ask you some questions. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna say this once, pal, so listen up. Y yes No matter how poor you get, never borrow money from a place like this, you hear? Um, okay. If you got money trouble, just go on a diet of instant noodles and hang in there. True. <laughs> That's uh, me. We're not thinking about borrowing money, detective. We want information. Oh! Is it all? Well, let's see. Fender Linder is considered to be even fishier than the average illegal loan shark. And it seems it ran into trouble some just recently. Those guys have been pretty heavy-handed calling in all their debts. Really? Don't go poking your nose around their business, pal. You'll really regret it if you upset that lady. Alright, I get the picture. Hey, wait a minute. What did he just say? That lady? Better find out what the story is with this lady. What's a virus? <laughs> I don't know. Eh? Look, I just go with the flow, all right, pal? Here I thought detectives were supposed to be somewhat knowledgeable. What's on that face, pal? You think you know what a virus is? Well, Nick, do you? A computer virus? Sure. I mean, only in simple terms, of course. Really? Wow, you know everything, Professor Nick. Ah, that's I'm gonna call you Dr. Game. Wright from now on. That's another game. We're not playing with Professor Layton until after this game. And that's technically not canon. It's in the timeline, actually. They, they've accounted for it. Well, well then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that sounds pretty cool. Don't you agree, Dr. Wright? Why do we get the feeling they're making fun of me? Of course we are. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm no expert, but I can at least explain the basics to you, the t to the two of you. <laughs> All right, kids, gather around. We're gonna explain what everyone in this universe knows already. <laughs> You're welcome. A virus is a program that gets inside a computer and causes damage. Damage? You mean it makes this machine go boom and explode? No, the damage is um, well, it's all internal. So the inside goes boom, right? 
Imagine all the case data you've got stored on the PCs here in the station. A virus could wipe out all that. That's the kind of damage I'm talking about. Whoa, that's scary. Yeah, and what's even more scary is that viruses are infectious. Infectious? Most computers are connected together on a network, right? A virus can move from one machine to another over the network. So the virus just keeps spreading faster and faster. Hmm. Just like a real virus, huh? But Nick, why would anyone want to make a program like that? Yeah, it takes ages to type in all that data. Why wouldn't you want to destroy it, pal? No, people don't infect their own machines. They send the virus to someone else's. What? That's horrible! Oh, I get it. It's like you sneezing on Godot so he catches a cold. Right, and then he would be able to turn up in court because he'd be too sick. You really shouldn't do stuff like that, Nick. It's wrong. <laughs> what? Where? When and why did the conversation jump to talking about me? Anyway, that's what a computer virus is. A bad program that causes damage. And all the different viruses have names, right? I kind of feel like I've heard the name of the virus we caught somewhere before. The name of the virus, huh? I feel like I've heard of it before, too. I think I know what it is. Do you? I may! <laughs> <laughs> Is we just go insane. <laughs> Abby and I just looked at each other with the wide eye <laughs> expressions. Like, ooh. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, um, about this. What? I'm trying to concentrate on Maggie and this virus right now, so I. <gasps> That's it, this stupid name, I remember now. I didn't know I pitched Screech for some reason. I thought so. It's Here almost it like I'm being voiced by a woman. No, I'm not. <laughs> No, just nod yourself and keep me in the dark, Nick. What's going on? It's okay, Maya. You don't have to cry about it. <laughs> I want to be in the loop. The name scribbled on that sports paper and written on that CD. That's the name of the virus. MC Bomber. What? Yeah, the virus that just affected every computer in the station, pal. It's MC Bomber. Can you give us any more details, please? That's interesting. It was a virus! <laughs> all along! <coughs> we already knew about the MC Bomber virus from a while back. A group of criminals issued a series of demands to the head honchos of law enforcement. They threatened to release the virus if their demands weren't met. Who are they? I don't know. Some hotshots from the criminal underworld who would be my guess. And now the virus has been released, huh? Yeah. It's in every computer in every public office in the city. Everyone's going nuts! They're hop- Yeah, hopping around like they're dancing at a carnival! All this stuff with criminals and viruses! It almost feels like we're in a sci-fi movie! Apparently the programmer who made the virus was a real genius or something! The focus right now is on tracing the route of this virus on the black market. Spooky. Mm. You mean someone put this virus up for sale? Yeah, and because of this one's so powerful, they're estimating its price tag was in the millions of dollars, pal. Oh boy. In the millions? A virus can be worth that much? Yup. Empty yeah. Bomber updated in the court record. Which is why, everybody. Uh, there are, like, people always talk about bad hackers. There's actually an occupation of good hackers. Mm -hmm. They help make, like, good hackers can help make security systems. For uh, things like the medical industry and mm -hmm. all those other industries. It's why they uh, changed it to crackers are bad hackers and hackers are good hackers. Mm -hmm. they've, they've added that d description. It's weird and awesome. That's the girl who works over at Tender Lender. You want to stay away from her, okay? I mean it. She does look kind of unforgiving, doesn't she? That should be the least of your worries, pal. What's that supposed to mean? What could be worse? You're gonna die! <laughs> She'll murder you. Her name is Viola Viola Viola, Viola Cataverini. Yes. Yes. She's the only granddaughter of Bruto Cataverini. I guess it could also be Cadaverini. Cadaverini. Because cadavers. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's their name. Probably, Probably Cadaverini. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be Cadaverini. Yeah, Bruto Cadaverini. 
Do you know who that is, Nick? Cadaver. Never heard of him. He's cadaverific. Bruno's Cadaverini is the boss of the Cadaverini family. The Cadaverinis? That's one scary sounding name. We can't touch them. They're way too powerful for the police. But you're thinking of taking them on, aren't you? N no. I don't remember ever saying I was going to. Better get some more info out of Gumshoe about this family. Ugh. You done? <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Got it out of that. I'm not sure if I really want to get involved in this, but who are the Cadaverinis? Who are they? A scary bunch of people, that's who! You're a cop and you're scared? What's that about? Trust me, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or a cop, these guys are scary! They've got some serious clout in the criminal underworld. We can't touch them. They've got too much moolah. Moolah? As in? They pretty much control of all the cash of the city's black market. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. It's a black market, huh? And that includes Tender Lender, I take it? Sure! No one stands up to Bruno Cadaverini. And I mean no one. Interesting. So Fiola's the granddaughter of some mafia boss then? Yeah, and everyone knows how much Bruno loves his little girl. Good. She means everything to him. So... How did she end up at Tender Lender? I don't know, pal. But I hear she and the boss at Tender Lender are pretty tight. You know what I mean. Tight? That's what Like fan fiction tight? What it said in the file I read related to Maggie's case. Sounds like a pretty important clue. Ugh, I can't believe it. I almost forgot the most important thing. And that is? You know, the lunchbox. How did everything go? The lunchbox? Maya yeah. slowly puts the lunchbox behind her back. You remember? Weenies. I hate weenies! Weenies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those weenies. So, how did my weenies taste when they went down the hatch? Super good! Sunshine, we know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Um, well, it was delicious. Yeah? That's what she said? Really? Um, well, not exactly. Don't worry about it, pal. Oh. I figured out something that would happen, so I came prepared. Prepared? What do you mean? I made a jumbo lunchbox! Oh! Do me a favor again, huh, pal, and deliver this? This sure is a heavy burden. More ways than one. I can just imagine Maggie's hot little eyes sparkling with joy when you bring her that. Weenies again, Nick. Tell me we don't have to eat all these too. I don't see a problem with it. <laughs> but they're not Edgeworths. <laughs> you win this round. <laughs> Gumshoe's lunchbox given to Maya. Again. Oh my gosh. I really can't eat anymore. And something happens to Sunshine. <laughs> again. again. With we. <laughs> That's an episode. Mommy, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna eat some food more. Woo! Woo! Bye! You eat those weenies. Yes! <laughs> I hope the mic picked up on that. <laughs> <laughs>